Hello everybody, welcome to the CCL Playoffs 45 Round of 64 match, which starts with a perfect defence. We've got Ungern and his Vampires versus Flagelsnap, which is Daedalquist, and his Wood Elves. Um, in the booth with me is Fimey, hello. Hello there, and here to watch the absolutely monstrous uh, War Dancer in action, finally. Yes. Rank 5, Mighty Blow, AG5, Tucker. Maybe the best player in CCL history is this one. There is, yes. Oh, if, if not, he was very close to become that because he got to Legend. I don't know what the skill will you give him, but. Yeah. Yes. Maybe AG6, you know, just, just for the love. Yeah, yeah, you can join PC, you're free to join. Um, absolutely unbelievable. Yeah, Randy Tanner, there you go. That's the, there he is. And I mean, what an unbelievable player. There's, like, it's just impossible to defend against him, isn't it? Um, nah, there is a... No. <laughs> With another uh, strength 5 piece or something like that. Yeah, it's, it's absolutely crazy. Yeah. And, like, so this team... This team of four strength 4 blodgers... <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't really it's do anything. It's useless. <laughs> nope. Well, Volk, when I say defend against him, that, that's what I mean. Defend your ball from him. <laughs> like, that's the thing. Oh, a, a cheeky snurf on... A cheeky snurf, a cheeky surf after that perfect defence. So, a bit of a mistake on the perfect defence from Dadle, but never mind. That wasn't the thing that happens in the game. <laughs> oh, hello, PC. Hello. Evening. I may be dipping out briefly as well as in. I do have two nephews here and my partner's got oh. well, It's always nice to have you dipping in and out, PC. Well, it's lovely to be here, Jim. <laughs> always welcome. Woo! And we are already turn one for the elves with uh, two players down. Yeah, the surf cost him his own player, didn't it, as well? So never mind. <laughs> yeah, he surfed. He surfed the wrestle thing, but uh, <laughs> killed, killed two of his thralls. <laughs> you know, very interesting when it's your offensive turn and you lose more players than the other player. Yeah. yeah oh this... no! Look, Jim, they put all that effort into controlling the tree, and it just stood back up again. Unthinkable. Yeah, the the old twat magnet doing a good job. No, I mean, to be fair, this was this was just trying to get him, wasn't it? Was the yeah. Main thing yeah, it was all about that. Now, uh, Doodle, uh, him famously, I mean, how does one put it? Not overly careful with his dancers and better players sometimes. Um, he, he likes to use them, that's for sure. Let's put it that way. Yes, Daedal does like to roll dice. Yes, I think that's that's fair. Yeah. Which, if any of you have seen any clip of Daedal, uh, he tends to re instantly regret rolling the dice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He, he, I mean, he has a fairly common BB trait of feeling that rolling dice shouldn't necessarily prevent them always coming up with the outcomes he thought they should. <laughs> um, that the act of rolling dice and getting the dice one wants out of that roll are one and the same. Oh. Uh, all too often they're not well, I said, you know, <laughs> that tree wasn't quite controlled and now it is, Jim. Yeah, it's very controlled. That is absolutely mm. the best place to control players, straight to the uh, KO box or Kaz box. It's uh, you know, doing as, as good a job of being a forest as quite a lot of Brazil is nowadays, I hear. Oh dear. Oh. Yeah. What a, what a crazy... Oh my god, another remove. This is crazy. What? Three three elves gone. Well, three elven players gone. And oh, they don't really, Jim. Three. Three I mean, For start, they're not gone. Um, I, I suspect they'll probably see some of those on again. And for a second, does any of this matter? <laughs> what is done. happening here? It's kind of crazy, isn't it? Eight versus seven on turn two. <laughs> You could take nine of these elves off the field, and as long as I choose which two remain, I'd probably still be quite happy. Yes, that definitely favours Daedal, right? Because he's he's got two yeah. players. <laughs> yeah. He's got two yeah. players on his team. Yeah. <laughs> he doesn't really want or need more. The rest slightly confuse him, I feel, sometimes. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, Igor as a third player, which I don't know what's doing there. I mean, I think uh, I don't, how much cost Igor? Um, too much. I, yeah, too much. He's 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 not free. I think he's one twenty or something. I don't know. He's I think uh, right an there, extra yeah. an extra apple will be more more useful for the vampires than Igor. I tell you what would be incredibly useful. Wizard. A wizard, Jim. Yes. Mm. Oh, <laughs> I have heard about those. <laughs> I sort of feel that a lightning bolt and an AV six, strength five, agility five, war dancer might be a fun thing to do. Yeah. Surely you couldn't have afforded a wizard. Surely you couldn't have afforded a wizard because he could have afforded a wizard. Really? Yeah, really. How do you not take a wizard then? <laughs> it, you decide for some reason that one of the lesser seen because awfully terrible stars is something that will be helpful instead when it definitely, definitely is. Oh, Daedal's going in, isn't he? Isn't he? Yeah. Yes. Always. Yeah. Always. I mean, I don't, why was that a question in your voice? I'm, I'm Sorry, just... I, Daedal's going in. Yes, so it's his turn. <laughs> Yeah. I'm surprised he took that long. Like I, I imagined him like biting his nails down to the bone. Like I, I can't resist anymore. <laughs> oh, he did wait till turn three. That is right. Very, very patient. Yeah. You can imagine that his Easter eggs. You know, <laughs> if he knows there's one in the cupboard a week before Easter, it's it's lasting well into that first evening, isn't it? <laughs> There is a chance that the strength five uh, gets hit this turn. Yeah, you would think so. Not only a chance. I mean, that's a hundred percent what you do here. Is you just knock one little elf over there, and then everyone else either surfs or knocks over this war dancer, and then you kick it in the face until it's dead. Yes. And yeah. It doesn't even really matter if you lose the ball. If you kill the strength five, you've probably won the game. Yeah. Oh, He's no, gonna. We're, not. we're going forwards, aren't we? <laughs> He's trying to have to a go at the other dance. Okay, well, at least we're having a go Igor. at the dance. Biting Igor with a bloodlust. Yeah, <laughs> this Igor is the terrible plan. Here. This is the terrible <laughs> plan, is that Igor regenerates, so it should be all right. Yeah, and he's got thick skull. Oh, it does. Oh, okay, so that does work. <laughs> but it's still, compared player. to having a wizard, completely <laughs> terrible. It's the wrong plan. And now he doesn't get to hit the war dan the dancer. Yes. Like this is a great dancer. Like on on any yeah. other team, this is a great dancer. Yeah. But um, yeah, compared to this one, <laughs> well, this is just not okay. Well, okay. So we have banged that. That's the right. Um, not of course damaged it. Yes, I don't know if you know. Dale's had this upgrade to his elves. Uh, most of them come with AV in the high tens. Oh my god! Uh, if they are dancers. <laughs> <laughs> Right, so are we coming in? We're not coming with the strength five. Fine. That seems slightly odd to me, but. It's, no, it's, he's too far away now, isn't he? No one wants to be on this pitch, do they? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It'd be double GFI. Like, that's pretty. Yeah. Uh, like, that is pretty rough after having. Yeah, it's, so we just let them score, and then you've got five turns to score back, of course. Yeah. No, we're going to red dice it. Yeah, we're going to red dice it. And get pals. Yep. <laughs> okay. Um, and it's in two tackle zones, so we'll pick it up next. No, we'll pick it up this turn. Why not? <laughs> we can't do anything with it, but let's just grab it. And we'll move the last elf. Yeah. You know when you said he likes to roll dice? Yeah. He really what? likes to roll dice, doesn't he? he, he what? He does like I'm to roll watching dice. here. What is this? <laughs> it's amazing. I, uh, I don't have words to explain anything of this. It's just best just to strap in. I'd say put your hands up in the air and when we go around the corners go woo <laughs> Did you see okay, that? He yeah. hit him, he found him and yeah. he, he caught the scanner. Yeah. <laughs> what I mean what Yeah, the really ordinary yeah. elf next to the good elf just elfed. <laughs> it's insane though, isn't it? Four players off. And so five you, players. You know how with six elves he's just managed to turn these incredibly decent vampires over? without trying particularly hard by just rolling red dice. You only did all of that without that supposed best player in Blood Bowl who just stood around doing nothing at the other end. <laughs> yeah. Come for the ball way too early. Yeah, I have not. Yeah. He's ruined another guy fine, though. He's ruined another It works <laughs> just what? fine. When you've got what? two dancers this good, it just can. And it just did. And that one, you know, completely impossible to solve threat to the ball just carried it casually on our way. It's <laughs> that was a blue last. 
<laughs> He's off. <laughs> see, you, see you later, Bye. pal. Yeah, see you later, mate. <laughs> He's got the best idea. <laughs> no one wants to stay on this pitch, Jim. We're now down to, what, about four of them in total? <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's crazy. There's, what, there's eight off for the Vamps. There's literally three players <laughs> left. <laughs> what? <laughs> I wonder how sometimes Vamps just beat themselves and their drives fall apart. When you add to that some daedal dice... <laughs> wow! Absolutely bonkers. We we overlooked, of course, the three plus two plus out of the vampires um, tackle zones. Yeah, we just tackle. Yeah, yeah. Three yeah. plus two plus three tackle. No need to mention that. <laughs> no, no, no need at all. Uh, what? So Daedalus completely dominated this half, removed all the vampire team, taken the ball away with red dice when he had a strength five dancer who went in way too early and got out of position. Uh, and is stalled up, ready to win, one middle of the half. I mean, it's it's been all right from Daedalus. You know, red dice aren't that bad when you're a war dancer and the most vital piece on the pitch that could then be found and killed. It's fine. And seven. Yeah. But here yeah, he is. Nice. All his good pieces safe, ball in hand, ready for his driver. Oh. <laughs> wait. What? Oh. Oh, no. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, he didn't no. just completely fail to score when he had wait. everything just completely sorted. Okay, I... I knew that was going to happen. Okay, even knowing that yeah. was going to happen, I cannot fucking believe it. I know I was doing a bit of acting there as well. No, <laughs> not that much. I mean, were. I've been amazed since the turn one. This is like yeah. one of the craziest Blood Bowl games I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like I said, it defies all explanation. There's no point commentating this. Just, like I said, put your hands Just up. Just enjoy and, this as a masterpiece. Yeah, put your hands up and say woo as we go around the corners. It's, it's a roller coaster, that's all it is. <laughs> woo! But he did, he did space good at it, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> there's a clip, there's a great clip, and the clip is titled um, Tatal Quiz Graduating from Space Academy. <laughs> Now, this, is, I mean, this was this says, was his reaction. This was his live reaction in the commentary from Elliot and Dimmy. Oh dear. He uh, he does claim it was a mistake. I, I think he maybe just glanced at the seventy-five vampires in the KO box and thought one roll at that might give him the win. <laughs> I'm I'm pretty sure it was a mistake. <laughs> Which was Space Cadet's original reasoning. It was, yeah. <laughs> yeah, which is, you know, I don't want to say it's idiotic, but it's uh, not right. <laughs> What's the vampire's drive anyway? There's going to be only one KO reroll anyway. What yeah. a those gym where, yeah, I yeah. And that's what I'm kidding. <laughs> um, it's one of those gym where there are some, like, like, I can think of an edge case where he might be right, but I'm really having to think hard and push hard <laughs> the parameters to make it make sense. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's not utter madness. There is a tiny point with it. There might be a game state where that made sense. No, that, so that was not the one he was in, and not the way he explained it. But still, yeah. that wasn't That's an nice actual point. space cadet. That was a misspelled tree one because yeah. misspelled tree uh, failed just to score in turn eight. Yeah, playing it's just a forget. It's a click. Yes. It's a used to being in control, playing too many games, not quite the focus. You know, it's it's actually it's really understandable if you want to get into the psychology of it. I know Dale's been very down on himself about. It, also laughed it off. A good good play to me. You need to forgive yourself. There is that psychology of he'd done the hard work of the drive. He'd got into that position where he'd, as I said, he'd got the ball, he'd got it safe, he'd got all his good players safe. That's when your focus often drops. That is when your guard goes down and you are liable to a mistake or to people getting back into the game. That's absolutely 100% true. Usually we have seen that many games in uh, Chalice where the dominant team suddenly, you know, relaxed and gets into trouble for no specific reason besides yep. they were too overconfident. It just drops that 5%, just doesn't take those couple of more aggressive spaces that really, you know, tighten things up. Just If your foot's on the neck, break the neck. Do, do you know what I did in BBSL one time? I was playing somebody and they were like, they, they, what they did on their turn 7, they just ended the turn instantly. Oh, sorry, on their turn 7 or 8. They just ended the turn instantly. And then so I, I was like waiting for, and, and I nearly ran out of time because I didn't realise it was my turn. So I... <laughs> <laughs> and right. like, I just thought it was there. It was brilliantly just ended instantly, and it was like it was a genius idea because it nearly caught me. <laughs> yeah. There was a, the, another one that forgot to score was a Sage in one of the Rebel games. Just literally forgot to just press and turn without <laughs> seeing that it was turn eight. 
Yeah. Oh, I've, I've done it before. I, I've got confused. There was a drive where there were, I think, four different turnovers back and forth. I forgot to use it, confused as to whose drive it was. And I thought I was stalling for the great, you know, great win on the final turn. And I was stalling it all out. And, uh, yes, I mean, that's the kind of thing that... It, it has happened to all of us. It has happened to nearly everybody at some point. In the old days of Blue Dog, when the illegal procedure was an actual rule, <laughs> happened to everybody. You forget to move the counter and you lose a game just because of that. Oh, it wasn't co illegal procedure was the best the best rule ever made. I will die on that hill. <laughs> that's because you're a rules lawyer, Jim. Yeah, that's you're what very people soul say. you're a rules lawyer. That's what people say. Whoop. And then he lobs it to the strength five, and there you go. Well, then you know he could just stand there, couldn't he? <laughs> oh. This is this, is, this was an inappropriate quote, by the way, for for Daedal's position there. <laughs> oh, dude. I will not die on that hill, no. no. So yeah, I mean. Daedal can do whatever he wants, can't he? And score whatever yeah. he wants because yeah. when you've got a strength five, edge five, um, lodge you tackle. You need a vampire and two thralls to get there to have any hope, and then you've got to have tackle it, and it's blodge anyway. It's just. <laughs> yeah. It's ridiculous. It's a completely ridiculous player. Well, people moan that in the new rules, strength's gone up to 80 TV. And whilst that feels an enormous amount, and it's also expensive to get in terms of buying the skill, or oh, complex thing if you don't understand, um, I'm not sure that's a bad thing. It is so game changing. Yes, mm -hmm. it's uh, strength is the absolute best skill uh, to get in nearly every single play that you can imagine. Yeah. What I think we'll find is that movement is very cheap at only 20 TV. And I think we'll find a lot of that taken. It's also very easier to get. Yes. You can guarantee getting it, so you can plan on it a lot better. And I think we'll find that movement um, is much more important than people realise. Yes. Every single dwarf runner will be movement eight, in fact. <laughs> well, first there'll be movement seven. Movement eight, it might. It depends on length of seasons and if there's redrafts. That might be quite tough to get to, but movement seven should be their target. Get block and then either get to movement seven, or if you're not going to make it, you know, bail out and go blodge. Movement eight, edge four, blodge. Oh, glorious. Well, if Cyanide are intent on giving us perpetual and never ending formats without redrafts, then yes, those yes. would be the targets. You're sure, yeah. you're right. Yeah, yeah. And it's one of the reasons that they just shouldn't, is every team could be broken that way. Inevitable movement eight lodges, yeah, is pretty nice, isn't it? No. <laughs> it's nice to have, but the thing is, Pixquee, um, that is, the, the AV is good value for the for the TV, but not for the SPPs. That's the that's the only thing. Um, the, the problem is in Arian, people, and I speak as someone who spent, remember, about seven years, six, seven years as the director of the Thumble Tournaments during its peak years. What people want and what is good for the game and the gaming environment are sometimes two very different things. And I'm really pleased I'm not in the position of having to take those decisions anymore because they're very unpopular. But someone has to actually say, no, that isn't good for the game or for people in the game, even though they all want it. Um, and an open, perpetual environment where every team can end up with any development they want is, is going to be just nonsense. So it might be fun, but it, how popular it will end up, how competitive it will end up, how long-lived. So the sure. thing is, it's it's pick your poison, isn't there? There's like there's drawbacks to uh, there's drawbacks to redraft yeah, as well. There so definitely it's... is. There's a disincentive there to people playing as well in ways. And how you balance all of that, I don't know. That is not my job. <laughs> and I'm certainly not going to consult at great length for free with Cyanide on it because that's high level games development work that they should have done years ago and not be asking the player base on now, really. I absolutely would. I'd love it if they asked me. I would I would do all of that for free for them for hundreds of hours, but... Yes, but they'd have to ask you. Yes, And they exactly. should have done it three years ago. <laughs> yeah. I mean, doing it now is... Better than not doing it at all, but it should have been done three years ago, and two or three people should have been chosen, hired, whole great reports and discussions should have been put together, and several good, robust systems created long ago that they were aiming towards, not bolted on at the back end. Yeah. 
I would do anything uh, to help Blood Bowl 3. What, <laughs> I would just what, do anything. <laughs> what do I know, Jim? Um, <laughs> but that's how I'd have done it. Mm. During the planning stage, I would have been talking to the player base about what we, they wanted out of the game and what would make it popular. That also should have been a Games Workshop uh, job because mm. end of the day they are the ones making exactly. the rules. Exactly. Adding Games Workshop, adding two or three you know, decent players with knowledge. Hopefully Games Industry knowledge as well, someone like Inaria. Um, and then from that, the Games Director draws a conclusion mm. as to what will set it the best. And that should be what they are aiming and building the game towards being. Artemis, if I, I could be there, Artemis for a minute. Loner Blockless on, yeah. Block! <laughs> Yeah, it's it's this is some feisty play at times, isn't it? But he's, I mean, again, he's got that wonderful surety of stalling it up on a strength four, a strength five with Blodge. So if things go wrong, it's it's not the end of the world, is it? It's you can take those extra chances. But he scored. I, um, I, I hate it. I hate it. Yeah, it's. Uh... <laughs> this this is absolutely mental game. I'm it loving is. it. I'm <laughs> loving it. Well, I mean, from from. from, from from Daniel's point of view, he can score because, of course, the biggest threat to the vampires is having the ball in their hands. Because the elves can just take it away at will. Yeah. Yes, I mean, any any you know vampire player that suddenly gets the ball is like, no, no, I don't want this. This yeah. crazy guy is coming for me. <laughs> I mean, actually, both of these teams are so much stronger on defense. Daniel, because he, he's, I mean, he's going to get cross if he hears me say this. He's still not that brilliant at screening or defending his players or his balls. And the vampires, just because you can't defend anything against that dancer. Yeah, but I mean, the good thing is now he's 2 0 up after that perfect stall till turn eight in the first half. Oops. <laughs> Oops! Well, maybe game would be won, wouldn't it? You just oh, yeah. you let the vamps score and then you grab the ball and just do what you want with them. Or you stop them, because you've got a strength of 5 4 dancer. <laughs> okay, we've felled the tree again. At the cost of another. <laughs> There's been a lot of bloodlust made here. There has been, really, yeah, it's really been really crazy has. bloodlust, really. Unhealthy. That tree has taken out like three players without hitting yeah, anyone. Without doing anything at all <laughs> except being. It should be petitioned to be renamed Kadenik. <laughs> yes, existing, yes, been there. Boom, half of the bump team disappeared. Oh, dear. Twelve special abilities will go live in the next days. Wow, that's cool stuff. Wow. <laughs> Except the squirrel's hands. <laughs> like, I wonder about the special abilities for uh, for Blood Bowl Three. To be honest, makes you wonder if they're gonna they're gonna have them, doesn't it? Like, that seems beyond Sinai, to be honest. <laughs> well, see, I I don't ever try and upset people, but I will give people what I believe is my honest as objective as I can be take on what's going on and lots of people you know, get terribly cross so everything's wonderful and please accept that but sometimes I because I'm wrong see things that aren't wonderful and feel I should talk about it <laughs> here we have Dadel with a full uh, versus a full cage two plus oh, two. is he going to come to the ball gym? what do you think of course he is oh, look, it's yes, Daedal. He is. <laughs> <laughs> it's Daedal. <laughs> he moved two elves first. I thought that was quite strange. <laughs> he can't have <laughs> See you later, pal. <laughs> Jaw, wouldn't a, wouldn't a wizard be handy just about now? <laughs> what a, Holy shit! <laughs> what an insane move and success. <laughs> That's certainly the best player. The best piece ever in Sicilian history. You That's know what we everything. talked about? How you should have taken, you should have turned that drive around and tried to kill the dancer. Chip. This is why. It's because it can do this anytime it wants. Yeah. On every drive, on every turn, Ooh. and to almost every team. Oh, oh, he, oh, he leaped there. Shouldn't he have leaped here and like come up over there a bit further? Yes, he should. And that's quite a lazy screen, but it's probably going to be good enough because it's a strength five blodge dancer, for goodness sake. Yes. <laughs> <coughs> I mean, the shape he ended up in isn't ideal, is it? You'd want those elves at least one space wider just to make it a little harder to get the uh, assist in. Or even to eye cage it, because remember, there's no guard here. Yeah. I'm trying to work out if, if this has got... I love, I love the fact that the uh, oh another 
a lo de Strongbone, a lo de falta de Igor was the one carrying the ball, you know, against absolutely destroyed a game. It's it, look, it's an attempt, no, I'm telling you, isn't it? He's put players around it, screening the vampire off from the approach from the, the vampire, the strength five dancer off from the approach from one direction, um, which is pre it's pretty decent. It's it's solid, but a dancer one to the side would have been better, or coming from the other angle and just cutting things off would have been much stronger. And an eye cage would have made it. I mean, because of the, the hypno cheat, not any safer really, but it would have been a better shape to try and defend. Yeah. He gets the power. And he gets the power on the reroll. So the, the reroll's gone for this turn. Yeah. Gets the and kill. And he's gone. Randy's gone. Well, 86. He, if you can hit it, it was never going to last. Do you know what I'd have done about that, Jim? <laughs> What would you no, do about it? Would you have, would yeah. you have used a lightning bolt for a wizard? You know, Jim, I, I, it's funny you say that. Yeah, I, I think I would have used a lightning bolt to test that armor much earlier in this game. <laughs> like, like it, it was right work. by all of my players on the sideline and I could have kicked him in the face afterwards. Then I'd have done it then. <laughs> yep. Two plus, two plus two score for the elves now. Yeah. Yep. And that would be three nil. It could have been 3 0, but it's going to be 2. <laughs> you, you got a point for me. I'm living in a reality where he did score at the end of the first half, aren't I? Oh, oh dodge he's tackle. Dodged from tackle! Boom! Were there options not to dodge from tackle? Um, no, I don't think there were. There was probably options to do things, but it wasn't easy. No, I think that was fine. It just was very unlucky. So, 2 1, uh, 2 2 pluses needed. But the reroll went on the first, and the third one was a one-two. So, oh, the fans have a vague chance now, and that's the second dancer gone. Just say it isn't so. Boy, I'm sure there's an option, right? He's, he's got dodge here, and he's got these two here, so I'm sure he could maybe engineer a two D hit with a dancer. But I don't know. Like it was fine. It was certainly and two fine. plus two plus is not hard to expect, is it? When you've got a reroll to do it with. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it was fine. It wasn't fine. It wasn't bad or anything. No, it wasn't. It, was, it just was unlucky. Really, really unlucky. But some of the other decisions have been suboptimal. But I mean, maybe they're not. Who knows how you should play with a strength five, agility five, war dots? Yeah, not knows. many people. <laughs> no. Who was the guy on uh, on Fumble oh, like Piggy or somebody? I can't remember his name. Big star, 69. Yeah, yeah he's, yeah, he's got he more. One similar. Yeah, he, he basically had the same guy, yeah. And then, of course, there was Debog, the, um, the vampire that tormented Fumble for a couple of years. <laughs> yeah. The hell is going on? Yeah, <laughs> cast all over the place. Oh. <laughs> Loads of removals. <laughs> this is, the vamps are slaughtered. A special mode without armor values, you know, like uh, every hit is oh. an armor break. And then you'll take an AV, I mean, just out of nowhere, as a wild random comment, you'll take an AV9 thick skull team with loads of MB and not remove anything at all, whilst losing all of your dwarves. Mm. Oh, I don't know who that would have happened to, but I hear it does happen. <laughs> Crazy, crazy stuff. And it, it's just an incredible dice. Indescribable from both sides at times. <laughs> yeah. Some really good plays, some really interesting plays. And just that dominant piece. Is he going for the 1D? To... Nope. Yes, he was. And then he still had this guy to maybe... He still had the yeah piece to fetch and, and score with. I mean, Dale's a fascinating case in Blood Bowl. He, he's developed into a very decent coach, um, but only ever by playing the sort of the very reckless, very dice rolly prone teams. You know, from goblins to Kislev to wood elves to rats, it's, it's the high agency, high agility, high impact teams that he has learned how to play with. Yeah. And he's developed hence a very aggressive style, but he knows how to use it, how to roll, you know, not great seeming odds, but three or four times and a half, and have the ability to collect afterwards when one of them finally pays off. And it's why he's getting the success that he is, is that that high kinetic style can really work. 
so Ego's in range to uh, help against Bloodlust. Yep. And he's making sure that at every stage where vampires are going to be, where they catch, where they end, there's always a, a, a thrall or someone he can bite. And Igor is the perfect bite because he regens and has things going. Yep. He's not as good as a wizard of a strength fight. Except the part that no. literally anything else will be better than having him. Like, yeah. <laughs> you might say that, and I might agree, and so might everyone in chat. <laughs> but we didn't take the decisions. We're not ungood. And maybe we wouldn't be about to take this game to overtime against the most ridiculous war dancer the Chalice has ever seen. <laughs> so yeah, I don't understand this from uh, from Ungern. Why is doing anything other than just yeah, scoring? Yeah, just score because any movement might hurt your own team and you can't afford it, surely, at this point. And there is a bloodlust. Also, you can't run off the field, so you have to eat people and... That's, just, that's so risky, isn't genuinely it? Genuinely terrible. Because, like, if he if he could have if he could have uh, you know gazed this guy to get to get um, this guy in one two three four five six seven right if 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 he was one closer if he got so Diddle did the right thing witting him because if he was in range he could have gazed him and then just walked up you know in case of blood blood blood, blood lust, but he couldn't chain him or anything so it was why just terrible. he didn't score just a straight score on sixteen you know don't risk anything yeah yeah, yeah exactly weird. I mean, particularly having come from such a position of being behind. I mean, there's a time where you still feel I need to roll more dice only to get more on top of the situation. But in terms of numbers and things, you know, there's not much that could be achieved there, except... <laughs> Especially when activating your own players can actually kill your own players. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Flatjack, if you're on 19, don't, in those don't twist. Don't take a hit on 19, just stick and, and trust that you'll get some money or a, a push. Yeah. Um, I reveled, my high elf that you're talking about was strength 4, agility 5, uh, a catcher. And yes, that was enough to dominate the entire White Isle League um, for about seven, eight seasons. Yeah, that's a, yeah, fair enough, Elliot. He could have he could have gazed that guy so that if he bloodlusted, he could have handed off to to. Um, I oh, yes, fair, fair, fair. Yeah. Yes, I'm mean, so amazed about what's going on the screen yeah. here. That is like wow, it's a roller coaster. Well, so Diddle, won, Diddle won the Diddle won the toss for overtime. Well, and that's both of those killer dancers back. There you go. Now he is a little short on um, re rolls, but not as short as Ungood. No, yeah. he's at one re roll, and he has those monstrous players, so he doesn't need much more. Mm. It is this CCL fad of very, very low re roll builds. Because, I mean, Dope Math must have pushed everyone into that because you didn't ever see it in most other formats of Blood Bowl. You know, four would be a lot more common for the sort of size of teams you see in Chalice, and often five. Whereas, I've, I don't think I've ever seen a five re-roll team in Chalice. But facing overtime formats with big teams, that's the sort of re-rolls that most teams used to have in fumble environments and things. But CCL doesn't seem to encourage that. I believe um, uh, Shawnee's Chaos team had four re-rolls. But then, you know, Shawnee is right. one of the better players, isn't he? So it's yeah, I mean, right. I'm just, it's just interesting. It's just really interesting. Yeah. Mm. It's for the vampires, because that's what this game needed, more madness. Yeah, Blitz. Mighty Blow Blitz. It's the power. Um, not entirely 16 turns, Razzlestorm. Mm -hmm. In the first half, he KO'd the tree on the second turn. <laughs> but there has been a deal of tree hitting, yes. Yeah, if only you'd got the bear, Russell Storm. <laughs> it was so funny. That match was so funny. Oh, you massively under-attacked the bear, Russell Storm. <laughs> well, yeah, well, well, my, my god. My god, you were so right there, uh, hitting that uh, beer at the beginning of the game. <laughs> History proved you right. History proved you right. You didn't go to my school, did you? There was a kid two years below me that supposedly went on a trip to a zoo and poked a stick up a lion's ass. <laughs> It just strikes me, perhaps you're that kid grown up. You just can't leave animals alone. <laughs> oh, he GFI'd and killed himself. What a yeah. waste.
And so with that beautiful slaughtering blitz on the ball, um, doesn't now achieve actual pressure on the ball. Mm. You just need any assist to <laughs> And we KO the vampires with a lovely strength five dance. I can just sit there by myself. Look. Yes, oh, she made the face back of you, idiot. It's amazing, isn't it? What a fucking stupid player. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, 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 oh. Makes the handoff. And I'm not that sure we're like not carrying on the strength five. Yeah, well, I was gonna say, why are we on the AG five? I know it's blood step and AG five, but why are we on the strength five? Yeah, I don't know. Vampires can it's, gaze people, yeah. can't they? And then hit hit your ball. Now he's only strength three. I, you have it's to carry strength five. Point. Yeah, I like it being on a strength five if I have the option. Yeah. However, you know, two super dancers gonna be all right now. No, this this looks this looks. Needlessly uh, no, dirty. No. There's only a couple of vampires left, Jim. This is this is needlessly dodgy. <laughs> Like, it's way, way too easy, isn't it? Like, it's insanely easy. It's just yeah, gears it's in and then you've got 2D on the exactly. ball. Like, it's, yeah. it's nothing. And there's not even enough elves to stop this gaze being tricky. It's, uh, two, it's two plus gears. Oh, he failed! He's got oh, another no. chance, though. There we go. Get to the gears this time. So it was a 1 in 36 to not gaze that dancer out of the way because he had two goes. Well, one was a three um, plus, but it was, it was yeah, okay, but still a, a two plus three plus. So it's what's that one in eighteen? Yeah. Means this game. And there you go for a for a two die on the ball. It, yeah. it, that feels like it should have been harder. Yeah, two D with tackle. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, and when I say harder, I mean like you know, way, way, way harder. He should have. It's going to be a tiny bit rude, but something Trent might struggle with. <laughs> something she could probably do without thinking too hard. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty terrible. When you when you've got a strength five, dude. Yeah, um, that's just not okay, is it? No, no, it isn't. That but cool. look, he had a beautiful run. He beat me in his final game to qualify, which I know he's very thrilled about. Uh, by rolling two red dice uphill to sack my ball carrier, but fine, he did. Um, it was also the only option he had, so you know, I celebrate that he tried it. It was the right thing to do. And this is by no means over. You know, that board is still right there by that strip of five. He's I'm dead. dead because this is how this game uh, works now. Boy, howdy. Yes, I mean, Deirdre should have won this 2-1, right? Like, he, he just had yeah. this one <laughs> and, then, <clears throat> and then didn't. But then in overtime, the, the plan is it goes to the strength five. Yes, it? yes, it, it, has, it has to, it has to. Go to the strength five. But it, it... Unless, unless there's one situation where it doesn't go to the strength five, and that's if instead of shitty ego, he's got a, he's got a wizard. Yes, <laughs> in which case you give it to the agility five and the strength five hands net stands next <laughs> But yeah, that like, yeah, you've got to, you've got to get it on the, down, on the strength five. Oh, because again, Hypno Gaze still deals with the strength of five. That was only one tackle zone we picked up in. Yep. But we're not able to get away from the strength of five, so guess what it's going to do? It's, it's going to come ball. Ball. Of course it does. I mean, nope. and it should. Oh, he uses his last reroll on it. He uses his last reroll. He has to, doesn't he, Jim? I don't know. Otherwise, it's gone. I mean, there's so many of them now to so few elves. And... Is it? Are there? No, there really isn't. There's like three. Yeah, at least uh, another couple well, of chances to hit the ball. And because they're massively stronger and faster, you'd have had two to three more chances to hit the ball, probably. Yeah, I Unless hate using my dies. last reroll. I hate using my last reroll, but like... I don't hate it. I, I wouldn't. I'd have tried really hard not to, though. I can't in my heart say I wouldn't have done. No, no. I, what I mean is, I, I don't say I hate his decision there. I just, I just say I hate using my last reroll. <laughs> yeah. Oh God. Yeah. Oh, like yes, that's the absolutely. thing. Isn't it? It's like absolutely. it's really, it's really, it's so hard. Oh God. Oh, Could you God. have resisted that? Good God Almighty. Only God. The real answer was to not be there in the first place. But could you have resisted that reroll? I just don't know that I could. No. Yeah. So I'm now the strength five's I'm gone, just saying, and the AG five's yeah, yeah. gone, and now there does look to be quite a few vampires to fewer elves. And yes. It's, just all so sad because this was 3-1 
Yes. Or two one at the end of normal time. Or... Yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately, I mean, there's there's too many turns as well. No rerolls, you know, and and uh, bloodlust could make it a little bit tricky. Here are some for me. Uh, nothing happened at the end of normal time, shtick, but what happened at the end of the first half was uh, Daedal had, an, had a no dice score, completely opponent lying down doing nothing, and he accidentally clicked end turn instead of scoring. <laughs> England shooting penalties, yeah. 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 <laughs> I still have no words for the things I've seen here. Need to process all this, it's been amazing. It has been a crazy game. The amount of removals on both sides has been nuts, hasn't it? Five Kaz for the elves. <laughs> Uh, well, and then four Kaz, uh, which is one was there was a regen Igor as well. Four chaos, uh, like, and there has been like uh, twenty chaos. Yeah, yeah, it's been absolutely insane. And the best player in Chalice history is uh, is he's gone. It's Kaz. <laughs> he's got wrestle, so he's got a chance, right, Dirtle? He's he's got a chance with that wrestler, like. Not much. <laughs> Not much, but he's got a chance. <laughs> oh no, he's got dodge. Oh my god, I thought he got him. <laughs> you can throw things in the way just because there's no rerolls, but asking a lot. I've been asking for uh, more crazy dice after all this fair, but at some point the madness must stop. It ends now. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the bloodlusts wow. and then him, you know, like the the main thing is like he's got he's only got three turns to score now, and he has to he has to have the the throw to be able to bite to score potentially, doesn't he? So, yeah. You can't fault force no. If uh, so, so if you if you bloodlust, you need like a throw on one of these two. Yeah, one you can score uh, the bump that drops the ball before uh, when reach the the end zone. So you don't score. Yeah. There is still a chance. Yeah, there you go. He's hitting. He's hitting. Ego kills himself. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. What a crazy match. The first half ended with like three vampires on the field and now there's like what about four elves? <laughs> yeah, four elves on the no five elves on the field. <laughs> Ridiculous. Great world images we have seen here. I mean, it's like. <laughs> I don't understand the question now at all. I think, I oh, think they were questioning why, why he didn't uh, try yeah. to store a little more, I think. No, no, I, I get it. It was. It was uh ungun but it was the second half yeah the end of the second half so well because i was thinking he couldn't move he couldn't move uh he couldn't move ego to to the thing but it's cuz it's so if he bloodlusted he could have handed off well he could have he could have passed to ego he could have stood next he could have stood next to the other throw bit near the other throw and passed to ego so he was trying to he was trying to gaze them yeah i got it i got it i, I worked it out i worked it out in the end Yes, so he was activating the vampire to gaze him. Uh, yeah, 
get the victory with a little help of absolutely crazy dice and Dadel Kiss forgetting to score. Yes. Dead I think he, when he finished the game, I think Unger was like, I'm going to bed to sleep for a while because I can't cope with any of this. Yeah. Well, Flip, Dave will be back, I think. Yeah, of course. I mean, uh, I'm pretty sure Dave will be able to uh, lay his head on the bosom of one of his uh, followers and recover from it. And I'm using not a, a non-gendered bosom there because if anyone has ever been to a live tabletop tournament of Blood Bowl, there are many coaches with ample bosom. <laughs> we, we all have bosoms. Um, and yes, some of our moves are mighty indeed. <laughs> <laughs> the, move, the moves are mighty on wow. the sword. <laughs> right. Uh, anyway, absolutely crazy game. Beautiful to watch. I, th I can imagine how, you know, must be for Elliot and Dimi casting this live because it's like... You say what you say. <laughs> yeah. You say well. I, mean, I feel very sorry for Dale. What a silly boy. Yes, yes, but yes. He coached, really unfortunate. He coached really some cracking wood elves to even with those pieces. He coached some cracking wood elves. It was a very pressured run to get them into the chalice. I know he feels that was a huge reward. Uh, it's not his first time in chalice. I doubt it will be his last. Anyone that can crank out 800 games a season is likely to get something in at some point. <laughs> um, and he's also a good enough coach to now make the chalice great. Um, so I'm sure we'll see him in again. I'm sure he'll learn from the experience. And I, I know he feels, and I'm sure we'd all agree, it's just about losing that focus. Um, perhaps when that pressure came off and that focus just really wasn't there at the end of that first half, I'm, I'm sure he'd agree that was the moment. And that that's something he could easily change, or try to. Yeah. 35 armor breaks for the vampire. Yeah, because it, count, it counts the bloodlust fails as well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, so when you fail bloodlust, oh yeah, and you bite a uh, throat, it comes like, okay, even, yeah. Oh, yeah. even oh. so. So he, he slaughtered his own team and slaughtered the Wood Elves. <laughs> yes, almost all of the slaughter, because the only Mighty Blow on the field was the, was the War Dancer, wasn't it? But yeah, no, there was, was a vampire with Mighty Blow, oh, okay. I think. There were two the vampires with Mighty the slaughtering. Blow. There was at least yeah. one, anyway. And the bloodlusts were very, very high, yes, they were. And the tree. So apart, apart from all of the mighty blows, there was only... no, apart from the, all the mighty blows that were there, there weren't that many. <laughs> anyway, um, thank you very much, uh, Fime and PC. Thank you so much, guys. Absolutely glorious. Always a pleasure to be here. And... Well, that, that one wasn't fun, but it, it needed doing. <laughs> yeah, and congratulations, Ungun. Commiserations, Daedal. Thanks for watching everyone, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.